Wisdom Hack TV here coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona on yet another business trip. Uh, a lot of you were kind enough to reach out to me after watching the Feta 580 series and ask me, how did I keep packing it up? How did I move it from city to city? And how did I get it home once it was fully built? So in this video, we're going to dig into how you pack up a heli and break it down. Uh, building it is just simply reversing the same steps and it's just that simple. So with that, let's go ahead and dig into it and see how I did it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do when packing up the heli is to remove the main blades. So we'll pop the bolts, take the main blades out, and then we're going to put the bolts and the washers right back in the blade grip so we don't lose track of them. Then we're going to move back to the tail, take the tail blades out, and then do the same thing. We'll put the bolts right back in the uh, tail blade grips, and then we're going to go ahead and remove the tail fin, put that aside, put the bolts right back in the tail case so we don't lose them, we don't have little parts floating around. We'll pop the canopy off, take the battery tray out, and then we will loosen the tension on the tail boom, and then remove the tail push rod here. And there's the tail push rod gone. And then we will push the boom forwards, take the tail belt off the tail pulley. Great thing about the raw is you can do that really easily without removing the main shaft. Pop the boom out. And then we're going to remove the tail case from the boom. It just shortens it up a little bit. And then we'll put those bolts right back on the boom. All right, here's our expandable plastic tube case that you can get for, uh, plans and drawings and whatnot. I'm going to take our main blades, wrap them in some bubble wrap, take the tail push rod, put it inside the boom, and then roll all of that up in bubble wrap, and then slide it into the tube. And then we're going to take our tail blades here in just a second. We'll stuff a little bit extra bubble wrap in there just to make sure it doesn't move around. Take our tail blades. This is just some paper towel. I'm folding the blades in, tucking them in the top. Take a little bit of extra bubble wrap here, and then I'll put the cap on the tube. That just goes in my suitcase, and then we move on from there. Now, it's time to go ahead and start packing things up in the box. All right, so moving on to the case, we've got a camera mounted in the lid. I'm sorry if it shakes a little bit. All right, we're gonna start packing heavy things in the bottom of the case. So the first thing I put in is my tool pouch, and notice I'm gonna keep a space of soft things all the way close to the hinge line, because that's where the skids of the helicopter are gonna lie when we pack that in close to last. Now I'm gonna try and pack up all of the other heavier pieces. So battery charger, uh, we've got our supplies, that's our adhesives and uh, acetone and whatnot because I was still building here. And then we're gonna start wrapping some things in bubble wrap, some not depending on what they are. And there's our tail fin, there's our blade grip, there's a charger, battery meter, some cables and whatnot. And I'm just gonna sort of loosely pack all that stuff. And we're gonna put a layer of padding on top of all this. That's the battery charger wrapped in bubble wrap back there. And then we will get everything nice and flat. We're gonna take our silicone build mat, lay it on top of that, and then two pieces of sort of thick fatted foam. And that'll keep everything down there and it stops any of it from being able to come in contact with the helicopter. Then we're gonna take the body of the helicopter, we're gonna wrap that up in bubble wrap. We're gonna make sure we're gonna leave the canopy on, latch firmly, and then we're gonna wrap it around the nose, the skids, the head, uh, go around it in all directions there. And then we're just gonna lay it down inside the case. I've got a roll of paper towel I bring with me. I stub that under the skids in the back there. There's the tail case wrapped in bubble wrap tucked in there. And the skids will stop, you know, any of that. That's the uh, antenna mount wrapped in bubble wrap in there. And then lastly, we're going to take, uh, and what else, but a HeliDirect hoodie and other clothing that we're already packing with us and pack everything up. We're gonna fill all of the volume of the case with clothes and other uh, ancillary items wrapped in bubble wrap such that uh, none of it can move around. That's the biggest and most important thing with packing a heli. Make sure none of it can move and shake around as it bounces around conveyor belts and whatnot. And with that, you're good to go. Close the lid, ship it out, and uh, check it as luggage on the airplane. Okay, so we've got the helicopter packed up. We've got the, oh, you're probably wondering what that is, huh? This is the hotel room side table GoPro rig to look down into my backpack camera rig. It's ugly. I'm sorry. Bear with me. I'm improvising here. I'm in a hotel room. Okay, so we got the helicopter packed. We got our battery chargers, all of our tools, our build mat, our glues, our supplies, thread lockers, all the odds and ends, zip ties, tape, velcro, etc. That's all packed up with the helicopter in the hard-sided case. Now, what do you do with the LiPo batteries, right? So you need a carry-on bag. This can be anything you want. Here's what I use. I use the Lowepro camera backpack. Um, it's meant to carry a couple of DSLRs around, a laptop, and then a bunch of, you know, chargers, lenses, things like that. So, cool thing about this is it's configurable. So you got a nice lid here. You can hold the standard up to, I think, 17 inch laptop in here. So I've got my MacBook in there. And then inside, all of these dividers are configurable. They're all Velcro and they come with a bunch of different sizes. And you 
shape them as you see fit. Make as many or as few compartments as you want. This could be just one big open space if you want. So I make one large space for my V-Control Touch and that goes in here. I tend to pad up one side of it. And in this case, I've got some masks and other resonance for work in here. And then I slide the V-Control Touch in here. Now, all of these combined pieces, these are all padded. So it's nice and soft in here. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so the V-Control Touch goes in here. I'll usually put something soft on top, a sweater, or I've got like a fleece vest or something that I'll put in here just to make sure this doesn't move around. It's just firmly and gently held in place. And then I've got another piece in here that I've got a, a LiPo bag in here. And this is where I'll put my two 6S batteries. Uh, I label the number of watt hours on a piece of masking tape for the TSA if they happen to know what those are and ask me. Um, I've got those in here and then I'm going to put some camera batteries in here with this. Um, a few other odds and ends, I'm obviously going to tape over these connectors with a little bit of any kind of tape, masking tape, whatever, TSA gen generally appreciates that you're making some effort to make sure that you keep this safe. And then it also keeps it safe from any other metal things you may pack in here with the lipos if you put other batteries in there, just you need to make sure no contacts can touch other contacts, for example. Um, so that's all set to go there, and this is how I get the rest of my stuff there. So all right, all, I hope that was uh, helpful in learning how to take a 580 size helicopter and break it down without having to buy any sort of fancy uh, golf size case. Uh, the case I use in this is uh, just a regular old rolling duffel suitcase for the uh, tail boom and parts, and then a Nanook case available on Amazon for all of the helicopter and ancillary parts. Uh, you can use a hard-sided suitcase to pack the helicopter in as well, surround it with clothes. You just want something that can't get compressed by other luggage uh, laying on top of it. But don't let, you know, the complexity of this stop you from traveling with a helicopter. You know, bringing one on business trips, uh, family vacations if you want a little time early in the morning to get a couple of flights in uh, and get a little fix here and there. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as an OMP M2, in this case a Logo 200, uh, a Ripper 180, and a Line T15. There's a ton of great 200 size helicopters uh, on the market. And literally take the case it comes in, throw it in your suitcase amongst your clothes, and uh, throw the transmitter in your, and a little charger in the carry-on, and uh, you're good to go. So with that, I'm Nick Wisdom, and this is Hack TV. Thanks for watching.